In 2002, Kelly Rowland sent the first ever text message from Microsoft Excel, and ever since then, Excel has become the most popular messaging platform in the world. Okay, not really. But can you actually send a text message from Excel? And the answer is yes, you can. But first, let's take an overview look at what the process is going to look like. So first up, we're going to set up our Excel file. So we're going to save this in SharePoint as it needs to be an online file. And in that file, we're going to create an Excel table. And this table is going to contain all the text messages that we want to send, along with the phone numbers that we want to send them to. Next up, we're going to set up Twilio. So this is going to be the third party service that we're going to use to send our text messages. And after that, we're going to build a flow in Microsoft Power Automate. And this will allow us to call the Twilio service from Excel. So let's take a look at this in more detail. So I've got SharePoint open here and I've got an Excel file in my SharePoint library. Now let's set this up so that it can send text messages. Let's just open this. So what I've got here is a list of text messages that I want to send along with the number that I want to send them to. And what we're going to do is convert this into a table. So we just need to select these and go up to the insert tab and click on the table command here. Now our first row there is column headers. So we're going to leave this checked that my table does have headers. And we're just going to press OK. And now we've got those messages inside a table. And we're going to go up to the design tab and that's going to allow us to rename this table. So right now it's just been named table one, but we're going to give it a more descriptive name. And I can press enter and now our table has that name and this is how it's going to be referred to in Power Automate. So Power Automate is only going to be able to work with table data inside of Excel. So it's essential that these are in a table. Now the next thing we're going to do is install the Power Automate add-in. So we can go up to the Home tab and we can click on this add-ins option here. And we're going to go to more add-ins. And if we search Power Automate, then the Power Automate for Excel add-in is going to appear and we can add it into Excel and click continue. And this should appear now in the data tab right here. And it's going to open up this window here. And this is going to list all the flows that you can run from inside Excel. And so once we build our flow in Power Automate, it's going to be listed here. And that's going to allow us to send our text messages. Next, we're going to set up Twilio. So this is the third party service that's actually going to send the text messages. So you're just going to need to head over to Twilio.com and then you can set up a free account using this button here, start for free. And that's going to give you a trial account with credits that you can use to send text messages to verified phone numbers. And that way you'll be able to try and test out this service for free. Now I've already got my account set up, so I'm just going to click on log in here. And that's going to take me to the Twilio console here. And what we're going to do is set up a phone number that's actually going to send the text messages. So we can click on phone numbers and then manage. And then we're going to buy a phone number. And here you can select what country the phone number is from. So I'm going to select Canada. And we just need to make sure that SMS is checked as an option here. And if we want a particular phone number, we can use the search criteria here to find that if it is available. But I'm just going to select this one here. So let's buy that. And now our phone number is ready to go. Next, we're going to head over to make.powerautomate.com. And we're going to set up our flow that's going to call the Twilio service from Excel. So to do that, we're going to go to the Create tab and we're going to create an instant cloud flow. And we're going to give our flow a name. And if we scroll down in this list here, we'll find the Excel trigger. So this is going to trigger the flow for a selected row in our Excel table. Let's click on Create. 
And now we're going to configure this trigger. And now we just need to select where our Excel file is in SharePoint. So now we've got our Excel file selected. We need to select the table inside our file. And that's the one we named send texts. And now we need to add some actions that are going to be performed when our flow is triggered. So let's add an action. And here we're going to search for Twilio. And the action we're going to perform is to send a text message. And here we can give our connection a name. And then we're going to need our account ID and access token from our Twilio account. And we can find that in our console. If you click on account and go to API keys and credentials, then the account SID, we can copy and paste that. And that's going to be our Twilio account ID. And we also need this auth token here. Let's copy and paste that. And paste that in here for our Twilio access token. And now we can fill in these parameters for our Twilio action. And the from phone number should populate automatically. So here's the phone number that we selected in our console. And then the two phone number and the text message fields are going to be populated from our Excel trigger. So this is going to be the data in our table. And so we're going to fill that with dynamic content from our selected row trigger. And we're going to use the numbers field from our table. And for the text message, we are going to use the message field. And let's save this flow now. So it's going to be a very simple flow. We just have a trigger that's triggered from a selected row in our Excel table. And based on that row, we're going to send a text message with the Twilio connector. So now our flow is ready to go and we can use it now from Excel. So let's try sending some text messages now from Excel. Let's just go up to the data tab and we're going to click on our flow add-in and refresh the flow add-in so that we can see our flow that we created in Power Automate. And so it's listed here now. And if we select a row inside our table, we can click on the play button now. And that's going to send the text message in our selected row to the number in that row from our Twilio number. Let's try that again. So let's send this text message here. And hit the play button. And run our flow. And we get another text message sent. So there you go. That's how you can send text messages from Microsoft Excel. And the next time someone asks you, can you do X in Excel? The answer is always going to be yes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. Also, you can check out these videos next. The YouTube algorithm thinks you'll enjoy them. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.